I actually wanted to leave gym early that day. I decided, you know what, I'm not really feeling it. Well, I think I had somewhere to go that day. I said, you know, I need to leave early. I think I left about 40 minutes, half an hour early. I've turned down a certain side street and he's about maybe 10 meters away. And he's obviously a bright white rabbit. And I can just see like a bright white ball in the middle of the road. I'm thinking, that can't be like a cat or a dog or anything like that. And as I got closer and closer, I'd established that it's a rabbit. And that's how he ended up running up towards me. And then I ended up picking him up, taking him home. And now he's TikTok famous. Hi, Aaron. Thank you so much for joining me today on Len and the Bunny. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I first came across your videos because my cousin always sends me cute bunny TikToks. I think it was like the like the morning routine video or something that she had sent me. And I just thought it was absolutely adorable. Tell me the story of how you found Mr. Peary. I was on my way home from gym. And, and funny enough, I tell people this all the time. It's the little details. I actually wanted to leave gym early that day. I decided, you know what, I'm not really feeling it. Well, I think I had somewhere to go that day. I said, you know, what? I need to leave early. I think I left about 40 minutes, half an hour early to go home. I've turned down a certain side street and he's about maybe 10 meters away. And he's obviously a bright white rabbit. And I can just see like a bright white ball in the middle of the road. I'm thinking that can't be like a cat or a dog or anything like that. And as I got closer and closer, I'd established that it's a rabbit. And that's how he ended up running up towards me. And then I ended up picking him up, taking him home. And now he's TikTok famous. How old do you think he was when you found him? So when I initially found him, I think he was around six weeks. I'm guessing around six weeks. Yeah, he was really, really tiny. And I'm only realizing how small he is looking back now, if that makes sense. Um, and just seeing how much he's grown. So how did you go from that to now you are on TikTok? Like what made you decide to start documenting Mr. Peary and making like little comedy skits with him? Well, the main reason why I documented the first clip, because it's the first clip of me actually finding him was because I thought to myself straight away, no one's going to believe this. No one's going to believe that I'm walking in, in East London in the middle of the road and I found a white rabbit. So the first thing I done was pulled up my phone and I recorded it. I had my own TikTok page. Where I posted was my own TikTok page. So I used to post myself, I used to post vlogs, me going out and stuff like that. Um, and one of the vlogs was me finding him. I think I posted it, I can remember exactly on like a Thursday. The most viral video I had up until then was maybe 30,000 views. When I posted him, that next morning, it was on a million, it was on a million views. The next day, I think it was on three million and it just kept on climbing and coming. I think right now that video is on about six million views. I tried to go back to posting myself. They weren't trying to hear it. They said, nah, we're not trying to see anything else but the bunny. That's sort of how Lennon and I fell into it too, because, well, when I, created the channel. It was a different place for bunnies on the internet. There really wasn't anyone making bunny content. There were one or two other YouTube channels. It wasn't like satisfactory to me. Like I just, I wanted more out of bunny content. I wanted to see that human and animal interaction that bond, that really strong bond that occurs. What do you think attracts people so much to your videos? I think the main thing that um, attracts people to my videos is the two different worlds colliding, I think. I get told a lot in the comments, I get told a lot in my DMs that you do not look like a stereotypical bunny owner. Whatever that means, I don't know, um, but that's what I get told a lot of the time. You don't look like the type of person to have a bunny, can't believe you have a rabbit and, and all these type of comments. When they come on my page, you see a boy from East London that's loving and kissing this rabbit like crazy. It's sort of like, wait, there must be like a, a spin to this. What exactly is this? I think that's the main thing. Tell me a little bit about Mr. Peary. What kind of personality does he have? What do you love about him? The main thing I love about, about Mr. Peary is that, and I know a lot of pet owners will probably say this, but he reminds me of myself a lot, funny enough. Um, they do say that you start looking like your, your pet or vice versa. And I think we've got to that stage now where we can look in the mirrors and it's the same person. He reminds me of myself, the way he acts, he's very, very cheeky, very cheeky. I've heard rabbits are, are quite cheeky animals, but his cheekiness is on that. From what I've observed in the UK, there's still a very prevalent outdoor bunny culture. How did you sort of 
come to decide, you know what, I'm going to keep my bunny indoors, but not just keep him indoors. I'm gonna free roam him indoors. So the main reason why I did want to keep him indoors and free roam him indoors was because I did have a rabbit about, oh, oh, we're looking about 12 years ago now. I'm 22 now. I had um, a rabbit and she was kept outside. This was during summer. Um, so she'd be outside, she had like a, a fairly big size hutch. Um, I'm not sure how to measure how big it was, but it was very big for her to run around and stuff like that. But a fox ended up coming to her cage years ago and scared her and she had a heart attack. When I did initially find him, I said to my mum, oh, can we keep him in a spare room? And she was like, no, we're keeping him in your room. <laughs> so I was sort of like, all right, then that's, you know, it's, it's not too bad. So then he did initially have like um, a hutch in my room that I've now got rid of. And now he literally just has his litter box, his little castle, and he run he runs around the whole house now. That's his little setup. And obviously finding out a few tips like from pages of yourself and other pages, finding out the best setting to have rabbits in is to have them free roam. They're not cage animals, they're not hutch animals. He literally owns my bed. That's no longer my bed, that's his bed. He sleeps in there probably more than I do. I have a bunny, Lennon. Had you ever seen our videos before? Yeah, so essentially when I first found him and I typed him on YouTube, how to dot, 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 um, Lennon the Bunny page literally was the first thing that came up and it had obviously all the videos on how to, how to, how to, and I just sort of went through all of them to get a few pointers. So yeah, I have. Oh, that's, that's amazing. That makes me really happy actually that, you know, because I started the channel like six years ago. And I'm sure yeah. all the videos that you watched are like six years old at this point, but they still help people to this day, some of that older yeah. content that I first put yeah. out. How does Mr. Peary react with all these videos? He plays along quite nicely in these videos. He's a great actor. <laughs> does he uh, love it? Yeah, Mr. Peary, he loves, he loves the acting side of things. He does, he really does. Because of how my busy schedule, as everyone has a busy schedule, filming's really hard at the time. That's why even now my schedule just got a lot crazier. Those like, you know, full production day in the life videos I can't be putting out every single day. I know it looks like it's easy and he interacts and he, that sometimes it's a genuine headache. One take might take about an hour to do. And that's maybe him just hopping off the bed. He might hop off at a different angle. He might just not want to hop off and just sit there. Like he's, he's got, a, he got his own agenda at times. Majority of the time it's okay, but it can get very, very stressful and hard at times. But I, I'd like to say he loves it. What essentially do you want to communicate to people through your videos? What is the message that you want out there about bunnies? The main message I'd want to put out there about bunnies is, um, I feel like they're underrated pets. I really feel like they're underrated pets. People mainly scream about dogs and cats and stuff like that. But I really do think bunnies are very, very ideal pets. They're a lot of work. They're a lot and a lot of work. They're not easy to look after at all. But I think with the right education and the right research, they can definitely be amazing pets to have.